My name is Dr. Sondam Owen Akata. You are welcome to Akata Zim Grand Language Theatre. And this is where we explore languages. And today we want to discuss the language Kana. Kana is one of the languages spoken in Ogoni land, in River State. And uh, there are four languages spoken in Ogoni land, in River State. They are Kana. Kana is spoken in Kana, Dogogome area, and in Tadogogome area, in Ogoni land. And uh, the next one is Gokana. Gokana language is spoken in Gokana, Dogogome area, in Ogoni land, River State. Then the third one is Eneme. Eneme is spoken in Eneme Dogogome area, in Ogoni land, River State. And number four, is Bangoe. Bangoe is spoken in a community, a town called Bangoe Town in Thai, Logogome area in Ogoni Land River State. So now today we want to dwell on Kana, looking at the alphabet of Kana as well as the tone of the language. Now, first of all, let us look at Kana. Kana is spoken by about uh, about 10 million people in Nigeria. Then Kana is spoken in Kana and Tanogome area, as I earlier on said, and then it is also spoken in Akwaibom state in a town called Wiswai, also known as Warife, Warife in Orok Anam, Dogogome area of Akwaibom state. Let us look at what is called alphabet. Alphabet can be seen as a standardized set of basic written uh, symbols or letters or graphemes uh, which represent the phonemes of a language. And an alphabet, the alphabet of a language is usually associated with standard ordering of the letters for the purpose of sorting that is to say, organizing the graphemes in alphabetical order. A letter is an indivisible grapheme, a contrastive unit in a language system. It may correspond to one or more phonemes of a language. It is classified as either a consonant or a vowel, depending on how uh, its sound is produced. Um, there is one concept that I have uh, interfaced with people about, the concept of a, a diagraph. I think I have discussed that concept in a video. You can go on my channel, uh, Akata's in Grand Language Theatre, to look at uh, the presentation there. It is not an argument. Kana as a language spoken in Kana and Tainogome areas of River State uh, doesn't have a diagram. Doesn't have a diagram. That is two consonant letters co occurring as a unit in, in the language. And then you treat the two consonant uh, letters as a unit and give them a particular entry in the dictionary of a language. It is not. You go on my uh, channel, YouTube channel, you're going to see the argument and the presentation there. It's very unique. So it's very interesting. Now, let us look at the letters of Kana alphabet. Kana alphabet has about 22 letters. Middle of consonant letters, not consonant sounds, consonant letters and vowel letters. They are A, B, D, I, F, G, H, I, G, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, C, T, U, W, Y, Z. The number 22. 
Now, Ghana adopts all the English, the English letters, except for a few ones. English letters, except for a few ones. They are C. The letter C is not accepted in Ghana. It's not found in Ghana. The letter Q is also not found in Ghana. Then the letter V is not in Ghana. And the letter X is also not in Ghana. Now, now the letter Y, which is J in English, is accepted in Ghana, but it is used only in borrowed words in the language. For example, if you go to the Kana uh, Bible, Ogoni Kana Bible, you're going to see Jehovah with uh, spelled with uh, J, and you're going to see Jerusalem spelled with J, Jeremiah spelled with J, and you can also see the word Genesis spelled with J, which is not supposed to be so. They are letters found, I mean, used in uh, Canaan based on borrowing. So it's accepted as one of the letters of Kana alphabet. Now, let me point out that Kana is a phonemic orthography. By that, I mean that if you pronounce any word in Kana, any native speaker of the language can uh, generate the spelling of that word for you. So it is a phonemic orthography. That is a matching, that is a bisection uh, between the uh, consonant and uh, the vowel letters of the language and the phonemes of the language. Any pronunciation, the native speaker can give you the spelling of that word that you pronounce in Kana. So it is a phonemic, uh, uh, it has a phonemic orthography. Now let us look at the word Jehovah, spelled with J in Kana. Um, it is a borrowed letter, as I told you, it's only found in words borrowed into Kana. For example, Jehovah. For example, Jerusalem and all that. But if it were to be written according to uh, Kana alphabet, the J would have been Z. Z. The Z would have been Z. And it would have spelled it as Jehovah. That could have been the correct spelling in Kana. But because it is borrowed, it is a borrowed uh, letter, it is allowed and it is accepted as a letter in Kana alphabet. All right, now you look at the word, uh, let's look at this V in VIA. Uh, some people have argued that the letter V is in Kana, but I don't accept that, accept that argument because the letter V is found in only one word in Ghana, which is believed to be VIAP, that is moving fast across. And such people that use VIAP with that V, they are influenced by Gokana language. So you can be sure that when somebody has been in Gokana uh, uh, community, Gokana local area and uh, that person happens to come to Kana. The person is bound to use some Gokana letters in discussion in Kana. So, VIAP is not in uh, uh, Kana. It's not a, a V is not a letter in the alphabet of Kana. So, in, instead of V, Kana people prefer to use F as VIAP. So, now people look at VIAP as, I mean, the letter V in VIAP as a letter that can be, and that is found in Kana. Because they have such words as 
Upa. Then go kana. For wife. Viga. For brother or sister. And uh, Vigo. For butterfly. And then uh, Visanga. For little. And Buri. For love. So they now believe that. Because you're seeing a V in several ways in Gokana that it is also like that in Kana. It is not. So now Viap is pronounced Fiap in Kana. Any native speaker of Kana we tell you that that is truth. Now let us look at the tone. Uh, of Kana. We have three basic tones in Kana. They are high tone, mid tone, and low tone. A high tone is used in such way as Ko. Ko is the name of a community in uh, Kana, the government area of Golden Land. Then you can use a mid tone on Ko. And ko means wrapped, past tense of wrap. Then ko is the imperative form of the way wrap, the present tense form. So you see now that so you see now that the three tones are clearly presented on those three ways. We can also look at following uh, ways. Low with a high tone means salt. Low with a mid tone means that and low. With a low tone means weave. Then we have a two syllable word. Then you can now have uh, two tones, two tones on the syllables. For example, you have two syllable words. Each of the syllables we have a tone. Then you now have low L O O with Two syllables you know have the meaning being story no means antelope then low means narrate then low means uh, hot so that is where we stop today ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching I want you to subscribe to my youtube channel a Katazim Grand Language Theatre. Thank you so much. Enjoy yourself.